Ekonene, hii ni a reaction stroke a review ya the president's interview ile ili happen on Sunday uh, from around 7 pm to around 9 pm it was a long interview at first i have to be honest i missed like the first few minutes and then i decided you know what let me just watch najua let me just watch let me put my personal feelings of anger aside and just watch the interview and the first part ile ili watch the interview was not the best part because lepata time the president was being asked about an 8 year old kid who'd been shot uh, a 12 year old killed who'd been shot eight times and he asked uh kasaba he's still alive right i was like eight times he's still alive a check afina kuonyesha the disconnect between the politicians and the people especially in africa where we are just looked at as as voters so it does not matter if we are dead or we are alive so i remember hearing that and i was super angry and that ukenda kwa tweets zangu za jana usiku ta notice kuna time niliuliza kitu kama hiyo but now it got more interesting cuz vile msali ulizwa juu the violence that's being meted out on protesters he said some very wild story where he gave a story of uh, first of all kwa nafikiri anasema ili happened town cuz the way he gave it it looked like it happened in town so alikuwa anasema kuna ma protesters kuna a specific protester who grabbed a gun and was going to start shooting civilians and then the cops uh saw him and killed him uh, sisi wote mnajua like on tuesday there were a lot of media like covering the protest kulikuwa na mseka seto lale alienda hapa kiwa ndani ya parliament haujasikia kipati ana such a story apart from him uh, kuna mseka malari madol kwa hapo na kamera zake haujasikia amepati ana such a thing cuz the reason why i thought he meant parliament the president meant parliament was he went ahead to say that we are in parliament they went straight f- for the armory where ile footage yote umeona umeona mti yote ame post armory did you even know that parliament has an armory people went to the kitchen to eat and some broke a few tables wengine waka try kuingia pale kwa chambers kupiga a few videos and that's the story but the president alianza na hiyo alafu it seems like at some point i don't know how he realized that uh, that lie was not going to hold so he ended up changing and saying that the guy who grabbed a gun grabbed a gun in rongai and this is the mysterious guy who mysteriously also shot the um, 12 year old kid um uh eight times yes so 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 that was it so i think that the president just started that interview wrongly kabisa um and um uh, come on, this 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 lie of someone grabbing a gun and just going at people it's like the sort of lie that you you look at it and you're like the president didn't come up with this one of his advisors must have come up with this and if i was to pin down you know nikalianika uongo itumbia ni zaandika na itumbia na kuaga yule si uchawi ni maombi ni maombi ni maombi si uchawi and kaje ni maombi jo let's come up with a trail let's say someone grabbed a gun such a stupid story that holds no water and i'll just keep place your hotel cuz kenyans would never want like a civilian to grab a gun and start shooting no one would want that and if the civilian was to do that the enemy kwa protest haije kwa civilians and get on the other side the fact that this mysterious civilian alitani gun on any kuinonsha hiyo ni story ya, ya kipumbavu so vile president alianza hii interview ilikuwa he was very arrogant and uh, dismissive just kept calling uh, the protesters criminals and even i remember there's a time aliulizwa i think he aliulizwa na Lina Skykai so Lina Skykai ended up asking him like uh, over 20 people dead and uh, what's your reaction what can you tell us about this alafu kam correct kama it's not 20 it's 19 people who are dead alafu balafu instead of even saying like um, ile like ku show any remorse i can straight to 2.4 billion shillings in property was destroyed and he concentrated on the property thing more than the deaths and this ungeenda kwa internet at this point people were losing it people were like Wow, f this guy but uh, this guy needs to go yesterday so alko asal come jam sana na eh and uh, the more that the interview i remember like it reached a point i think your point when i bonga your property personally i was pissed off and i ended up just muting nikaendelea ku watch game slovakia kind of promise ko bawa ya kwanza nikajua ah alafu sana nikaanza nikaanza nika watch game then i think we left around like 75k on nil i gave up and went back to the interview And I went back to the interview I can say the president was more measured but before that let me mention something else um something else that I I hear he said it he parts kuyona but I saw people retweeting that he had said that the people who voted yes were heroes and um 
you know that's that, that that's one of those ilenonyesha that the president is tone deaf and this is one of the questions where he was asked i think aliulizwa you know eric latif they are going to say like people are saying that he's tone deaf in other words ha hana masikio kwa ground alafu ile time aliulizwa does he know how the youth feel how young people in kenya feel how young kenyans feel he ended up replying by say, saying he knows how young people feel because he has some young people in his house and this is where people make a mistake Shalin Ruto does not know how young people feel Nick Ruto does not know how young people feel why because they are billionaire kid a billionaire kid problem yake ni heartbreak he didn't pick up my phone <laughs> uh, cheeky but the average kenyan is where am i going to eat eat that's why uki campaign as the president you talk about the price of unga do you think shalin knows the price of unga hajui shalin thinks that the price of unga is 100 shillings because that's what you say price of unga is not 100 shillings kendo huko nje hajui it's more than 100 shillings i think it's around 130 so unachiki you don't even have the information now try and imagine your kids watu wako ni mababi so watu wako hajui the price of unga so your kids don't know alafu if you're in such a situation please don't bring up your kids just play this thing the way you're supposed to play it and uh, but even before turn end into like analyzing this thing even more i need to say something like i feel like wale wase waliambia president aende ukisikia these are the first few minutes are the same people who tell him that he's a genius so they told him okay and atupa lembele and you talk kidogo uh, people will understand why they love you and uh, remember you're a political genius so yes yes you'll end up doing your political uh, in June, in am implementing your political ingenuity and uh, getting people on your side but that's not how it went because it started really badly like alikona it had to criminals alikona tetaji your property like every time he was asked about death he'd walk away from that and he just talk about the property and things that were burned and uh, yeah, so that was it so Alafu kafika kwa finance bill of course akasema this MPs are heroes and i can try and imagine the way this MPs need his approval i'm sure na nearly lalaka me fry ishongo thank you president you call me a hero i think like this MPs need reassurance like kids they need to be called heroes you see this is a sort of nonsense that we are dealing with like people who are supposed to be legislators people who are supposed to make laws need to be called heroes by a president they need to be pampered like kids and on the other side they need to pamper the president so we are stuck in this cycle of pampering where no one tells the other one the truth so uh we go back to uh story so when mesema at some point i logged off and during that time i could just see people asking themselves like how is your anger from a scale of 1 to 10 and people are saying uko my 11 uko 10 like people are really pissed off with him but then when i came back to the interview i felt like he was more measured by the time you're going to come back nile tai walikuwa naulizwa juu vile wasona zushajua excessive spending and um, he said uh, one of the things that he said that stood out was the office of the first lady second lady then naske kwa background eric latifiko third lady Yes, alisema hizo from Kesho hazitakuwa. Unajua. Alafu akajitetea they've always been there. But if you go back in time, yes they've been there and no they've not been there. Because if you go back in time there is this BBC article uh, that um it took okay, back in the year 2008 and during that time it's the prime minister sasa ilikuwa ga, the prime minister Raila Odinga wife wake alikuwa na fact party salary and the wife refused not even that Raila refused it's the wife was like zi 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 that's taxpayers money ah uh-uh. see it had taxpayers money so we need to know what happened did the office of the first lady of margaret was there a budget like this uh, the office of the second lady or echoruto mwenye was there a budget like this cuz right now you have to think about it like uh, the office like i i feel pity for the first lady but not in the way that you think i feel pity for her cuz you know the way she's religious and she believes prayer works most probably jana usiku like on saturday usiku she alikesha akiomba that this interview would go well and kenyan hearts would change but you know what i normally say um uh, prayers are like wanking it's not the real thing man they don't work although wanking works cuz tukiangalia online that was digital wanking and that one king worked cuz damn the government has been going through it but here yeah, so i'm thinking she must have prayed uh, hoping for uh, things to go well and things didn't go like she wanted and now 
uh, right now like i'm sure the first thing alifanya sunday night after budget kwe uh, and we were like there's no more office of the first lady and pigia benny hin <laughs> benny hin mm, we don't have more millions for you please keep praying is the prayers that benny hin zil kwambaje like unakujaje kuli kusomea kuombea president then a few months later watu wanasema uh, ruto must go boom say come in ruto na fatu kumuita kucha na mfinya kende si kende so um to go back to this uh thing so at some point he got humble i think cuz even the interviewers when they started it's like they were sizing him up so they were a little bit afraid and it reached a level where while were more confident with their questions and it just it, like it was a bit down i don't know how to describe it cuz i remember like one of the things he lejo ageo alimuuliza ni how do you feel 22 months into office like 22 months ago ulikuwa elected into office and the first thing that you said ni ah uh, yani kulikuwa na so much support that uko na samaga misi pangwingwi alafu ime come 22 months later people are saying ruto must go and here is one of the times that i saw that damn this guy can actually be humble because he said something that i found to be like uh, it's not something i expected him to say alisema people can vote in a government and people can vote out a government i was like damn This guy has actually started seeing the reality that he can be voted out because there's no guarantee in life he can still win it's still a third world country he can still uh, manipulate um, IEBC ama he can still make a few people go back to the argument yeah unajua hatu what any the same so he ends up getting an extra term because people will say that leaders are all the same so that was so powerful to see coming from him like for him to finally realize that things are thick Let's check. Alafu I think another place I'll you listen in. Does he feel like he made any mistake? That there are things he could have done different. That right now what one could call say Maruto must go. And uh akaulizwa does he feel like his cabinet could have done something different? Alafu akasema no 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 I feel like my cabinet could have done better. Akamwambia zizi that's not what he asked. To Luliza, do you feel like your cabinet could have done something different and with this cabinet thing because he was asked like does he feel like he's uh, imprisoned by the people who helped him get elected and that's how i feel like akina aisha jumwa like fire aisha jumwa that's not even like you're not going to lose or gain any coastal vote because of aisha jumwa you paying aisha jumwa with a cs position is because you love incompetence that's the only reason Bitical Inturi needs to fuck off. Moses Kuria could not even win the seat ya governor Kiambu. He's not the same guy. This whole foreskin thing worked. Right now it's gone. If there's no Raila in politics, why do you need Moses Kuria? What is he going to bring on the table apart from fighting Raila na stories of foreskin? There's nothing else he brings to the table. He needs to fuck off. So ikitu ni kitu moja ile like it's so simple. Like um uh, nikiangalia history yote cause uh, I'd fire David D of course because David D is the reason why this thing reached this level like David D nim say amefanya waswaka discover something I've been saying all along that wanking works ajua cuz ukiwank alafu after kuwank wende you have sex you last longer what happened people wanked online oh ruto must go ruto must go let to wank tukaamua sasa let's go to the streets streets zimekuwa in a way that's never been seen in Kenya like damn like even i don't know the president's speech i think has made people want to go to the streets on tuesday like maybe you get you lisa i was done with protesting like i was done but right now i'm there like eh? am i really done should i need to go i was not done in a done evil but i was done is and i was waiting for the next big issue so isn't that you also some reject budgeted corruption so that's the next thing that we are fighting which is budgeted corruption and uh at, on tuesday I expect a lot of people the president was also asked about his people showing opulence najua like is it has in atembea with expensive watches and what and he said that would, uh, that's going to change but you telling akina murko may not wear gucci shoes and expensive watches that does, that's not fighting corruption corruption is fighting corruption it's people going to jail it's people getting fired it's not every time that someone who's in government is um prosecuted they end up innocent and afu musa waka fighting corruption is so easy bitical in fury fucks up fire him if you feel like you owe the tribe something bring another meru put the, that meru in that position 
but i don't know like what what the president's trying to do but i felt like the arrogance that i felt uko interview kianza ya kuita to criminals and what by the time iko na kujo uko mwisho when he's talking about uh, people voting in and voting out governments he was more humble uh, i have to give him credit for that i don't know if it's credit but i have to say i i saw that and another thing that i saw was when he was asked what should we expect on tuesday should we expect the military akasema the military hawatakuwa on tuesday and if protest, uh, protesters protest peacefully then there should be no problem but alikona shinda kisema the police are independent so now if the police are independent and the police i can guarantee you are going to be very violent on tuesday as usual are the police really independent because what do the police have to gain by being violent to protesters you know because this is the interesting thing you can only get away with something for so long so the kenya police need to know is it crimes muna commit you can only get away with them so long one day you're going to get we, are, we as a country are going to get a president who is pro protest a president who understands that your article 37 needs to be in the constitution that's going to happen might happen in our lifetime might not happen but if it happens in our lifetime murder has no statute of limitations so how to make one kiwa someone might have to answer for that so as you do these crimes of shooting and armed people just think about that najua makarawa kenya yes you can get away with it but no one expected more yangetoka eh no no so let's say ruto at okay after 2027 the next guy akuyamembo and i say you have to go after the people who killed people on june 25th 2024 cuz june 25th 2024 will go down in history in kenyan history that day will never be forgotten so what happens if that president decides you know what i'm going after these guys don't, don't don't be that person so i don't know what's going to happen on tuesday but um, back to the president so um another interesting thing ile nilipata ni kuna time eric latif alimuuliza uh, kama he feels like he does not listen to the people and he said that he listens uh, he ali punguza budget flani from 300 i think and 46 to uh 200 billion that means 146 billion ilitolewa and uh, so according to him he listens and eric latif akamwambia no cuz watu walikwambia reject not amend and that was an interesting part like at some point it reached like i don't know just the journalist just hit him with facts na alikuwa anashindwa how to wiggle his way out of it and uh, this is the point where it goes back to his advisors and when you have advisors like akina itumbi that's why it becomes a problem because these are the sort of people who will never tell you that the emperor is naked they'll just keep watashinda tu akikuchocha hawezi kuambia ukweli and sometimes you also make like if you are you're in a hole stop digging so what's happening is the president is in a very tricky situation because people don't trust him and uh, a lot of people are angry with him because i think vila lingia ali ali sell this facade and this whatever that he was you know jua he he was going to be super perfect was going to turn the country in a very short time but size if it was gender evil but size and try kujitoa from ile shida yuko so of course ana shida kusema the police are independent i'd want to see how independent the police are so that's one of the things that uh, alisema alisema his cabinet secretaries could have done better you know i'm saying just fire most of them if not all of them Uh, which which cabinet secretary would i say that needs to be kept najua cuz most of these are just people sucking up to him like msika duale says he's going to buy a jacket uh everyone like uh, the somali community will feel like they need to defend him that's something also weird that i'm starting to find in uh, as he understand but duale is one of those who needs to go how do you deploy the military to handle protesters who are nini iki to your protecting businesses such a simple thing if businesses are being looted put the police in front of businesses let places out to protest is when a very few policemen because the people themselves are policing themselves kipatikana palo kiba unatandikwa na unapelekwa kwa police so just know that businesses place protesters wako are protected isima outskirts that's where the goons come make sure they are police hapo mbele uh, another thing that he talked about of course mebonga juu the office of the first lady second lady na pia yani kumbuka If you want to know how Kenya is full of nonsense, Umsana it was Davadi who holds an illegal office ended up launching an event at the office of the spouse of the prime secretary. Like fuck off. 
that's all i can say ma cas poleni saizi tabidi nani um, anaitwa nani mili sentomanga i end up to work work online mili sentomanga alijitetea majuzi kusema she's never benefited uh, from any tender in the government and then what woke up what woke up pull receipts apparently there's a company called millways and she owns it e company lipataga a tender ya ku supply rifles maske yote tender ya ku supply rifles i don't know if she owns millways but that was interesting to see but sa hizi story ya cas imeisha so kidero just keep your billions but you're not getting a job alafu msikama nani tena jago alikuwa anafaa kwa cs millicent omanga cs sa wote itabidi wende walia kwa cho Um, so yeah it was a very interesting interview i don't think if it helped the president in any way but for me it was good to see two faces of the president to see the first face that's the arrogant uh akuna kitu mzaniambia to the second one which is like damn damn maybe i'm not always right so yeah so now it's just wait and see tuesday they have seen a lot of people want to show up on tuesday Uh, let me check by the time this thing happened he's not posted anything it's like he's told ah to wake wanyamaze kabisa kinaichungwa let me see kama michungwa me post kitu yote because this these are the, the the clowns that took him to this level um, and all of them so easy they are they are they're super quiet because they were so arrogant like they just kept just saying things that would just make people even more angry najua ah uh, saizi we won't see more of the nonsense uh yeah so wake wakitembea na expensive watches that does not make me happy because it means they are going to steal and keep it in the background najua they are going to steal and najua watakuwa wameweka nini but uh yeah so that was the president's speech what should we expect on tuesday what should we expect on thursday i actually don't know what should we expect on sunday because sunday is also going to be a very interesting day because sunday is saba saba and uh saba saba has always been like a day like ukisikia saba saba especially if you grew up in the 90s it's ukisikia gatu hivi you associated with uh, protests so what's going to happen on saba saba and um i feel like at some point You have a president that uses religion as a crutch. At some point you have to use his game. If I was advising people at Saba Saba, you people are religious, I'm not ajua. I'd advise you like on Sunday or so when the protest come be but to let to Bible to dog to give you on Bible or any sort of Bible as your weapon. So just some water and this time a Bible and let's see if he is he still going to spray water on the bibles is he still going to beat up people as they hold bibles na chapo na rungu ko meshikile ka holy bible hivi let's see like will really he walk the walk and cause i don't know i don't know if the president has changed his strategy or he still wants to use violence to get himself out of this whole mess because i only feel like violence is going to make it worse but still don't forget this is the kenya government so expect a lot of looting because the government needs wase wakwe anti protest so right now as the people organize this protest they need to name specific streets that the protests are going to be in and these streets need to be zisikwe downtown zisikwe kilaluthuli zisikwe huku katikati like kuna uh, tuongejwa biashara street tuongejwa loiter street tuongejwa place where even getting a place to loot is a little bit hard unajua tukienda downtown that's where we kuna phone shops kuna what kuna all these shops and getting places to loot is much easier and uh, them sending these goons is much easier so we need to to look at such uh, such places but yeah that was the president's uh, yeah interview um a big up to the three interviewers uh kai kai um Uh, Eric Latif na Joa Geo it was very interesting to like i don't know what the president was trying i don't know kama this is another idea pale toka from uh, from uh, Itumbi but the president alianza the interview he was not calling Lina sama Linus Lina sama Yolinas he was calling him Linus so for ukienda watch your interview because that interview is online go and check call him Linus 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 then all of a sudden akaulizwa swali fulani akaanza kumita Linus So this showed me that maybe he's on his lemma idea za itumbi. Ukimuita Linus atakasirika mpaka ashindwe kukuuliza zile maswali anafaa kuuliza. Haja kuna maoidia zingine za kipumbavu na jua gazine za kwa zimetoka kwa 
kwa itumbi. Uh, another thing that happened of course mimi ningekuwa na wak pale kwa security ningeuliza leteni maswali. We are not giving you the questions. Okay. Alafu by accident ni mwagie. Ka comment kama swali kwa kitabu ni mwagie maji, ni mwagie chai. I have tried something to save the president. Um but um what did that speech show as we finished the story? Your speech imeonyesha the power of protest. Imeonyesha the power of online. In less than a month Kenyans have been able to make the government reject a full uh, finance bill uh, ikafanya pia the government to start checking expenditure repairs zote za state house zikakuwa on pause in less than a month tumefanya the office of the first lady and the office of the second lady and the office of the spouse of the prime cabinet secretary zote zikakuwa abolished that's in less than a month that's how much power like right now Benny Hinn is somewhere in America crying because <laughs> I said number if he has to come to Kenya the money will have to come from someone's pocket so um uh, it's 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 interesting uh, are they still going to steal and move money around and still do these clown things yes but at least they are not going to do it using our name and pretending that we support this nonsense so that's in less than a month so uh ruto as i keep saying loves being a president if he has to sacrifice linturi to stay president he'll do it pressure 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 we need if he has to sacrifice david d he'll do it because david d ndiye alimpeleka na this wild economic adventures acheke if he has to sacrifice akina nani um murko murko men and sudi he'll do it wataenda kulilia kwa choa but i think he's made them rich enough for them to leer but they still support him even if if he does that so i feel like to kendelea kwa play pressure things might uh, things might change do i see him leaving office the way watu wanasema before 2027 that will never happen uh you know kitunaweza sema like mzani quote that will never happen he's going to hold on to it and uh, if we continue insisting on that expect the government and the independent police to be super violent uh but <clears throat> 2027 if he's beaten by a big gap do i see him sit uh, stepping down yes i feel like you time alisema uh, that people can vote in a government that people can vote out a government i felt like that was ile uh, cuz shida ya a time like 2027 is the people who are running against him for them to win most probably they'll have to declare that they don't support him so if they declare that they don't support him then when their votes are being counted let's say una fight for mp wa kikuyu and it's your vote against Ishongwa you're going to make sure your vote goes through and that means that Ishongwa will be somewhere crying and he won't be there to manipulate any numbers and whatever so yeah, it's going to be an interesting time if he's defeated by a, a, a big gap uh watu wake akina shalin this is the time to just disappear from the public eye just pss, disappear be like akina nikruto you don't need to be seen the first lady disappear You've also played a role in making people angry. Njua mko hapa nje, first lady ametumia taxpayers money going to Uganda to perform miracles. We don't need that nonsense. The first lady invites Benin to come pray for us. We don't need that nonsense. Kenya does not need prayers. Kenya needs real work. Njua prayers as I said ni kama vile David Ndu sema ni wanking. We need real work. We need to work. If prayers is all we needed, Africa would be like the most developed continent in the world. But people need to work and we can't pray away corruption cheeky so his strategy of using prayers as the way to get out of stuff is cuz that and cheeky there's a video of david uh, cd C- david sudi sudi aki alikuwa amekosana na halwale i didn't know alikuwa amekosana so he's there talking of vile eh, he's rich because of prayers and halwale is poor because of uchawi like that's that's not going to work that's uh, that's whatever but uh so yeah That was the reaction man like, that was my two cents on that uh, interview did it help the president I'll insist no did not help the president was the person who advised this uh, very wrong yes uh, was that person most probably itumbi yes and uh, yeah is a jolan and itumbi sana but they are the sort of people who made the president super arrogant and uh, he's the reason why uh, now the president yuko iples yuko and uh, he's facing something that no other president has ever faced cause even with the violence the people are still out there ekonene